Hey guys, I'm William, your host for Exploring History. Today we have an incredible story to unravel. It revolves around a lesser known Hollywood star who made a remarkable fashion statement and a legendary musical that left a lasting mark. Prepare to be fascinated by what lies ahead. Enter the world of Lily Gentle, a remarkable woman who stole the spotlight with her astonishing attire at the historic premiere of Rodgers and Hammerstein's renowned musical, The Sound of Music, held at the prestigious Dominion Theater in London. Join us as we delve into the intriguing history surrounding this iconic garment and witness the dress firsthand worn by the enchanting Lily Gentle, a Birmingham native. Have you ever heard of Lily Gentle? Well. If not, let me share with you the story of this hidden Hollywood star. Lily Gentle, originally known as Lily Charlene Gentle, was born in Montgomery, Alabama. Growing up, she faced a challenging battle against polio, a disease that also affected her sister Janet. However, despite these difficulties, Lily's determination and talent shone through. In 1956, Lily made her first appearance on the silver screen in a film called Carousel. Although she wasn't credited for her role, her performance caught the attention of industry insiders. This led to opportunities for Lily to take on small parts in other films that same year such as Teenage Rebel and The Girl Can't Help It, starring the iconic Jane Mansfield. In 1957, Lily had another chance to work with Mansfield in a film called Will Success Spoil Rock Hunter. This time, she played a supporting role, showcasing her talent alongside Mansfield. The next year, Lily took the lead in a dramatic musical called Sing Boy Sing alongside the talented Tommy Sands. However, her journey in the world of film came to a close in 1962 with her final role in Mr. Hobbs Takes a Vacation. Lily's television career soared as she made her mark in the industry. In 1956, she captivated audiences with her appearance on the 20th Century Fox Hour. The following year, she showcased her talents on matinee theater. But it was in 1957 that Lily truly made her mark as she graced the screens of Home Across America on Playhouse 90. Throughout her journey, Lily faced personal challenges, but her talent and determination kept her going. Have you ever experienced the fascinating magic of Lily's movies? If so, we would love to hear about your favorite film in the comments below Enjoy the conversation. During my investigation, I discovered a fascinating fact about Lily Gentle. She had attended the prestigious Dominion Theater grand opening of the iconic musical Sound of Music, created by Rodgers and Hammerstein. What made this event truly remarkable was the attention-grabbing dress that Lily wore, which became the talk of the evening. Lily was accompanied by her husband, Richard Sanuk, a renowned figure in the film industry famous for producing the acclaimed 1989 movie Driving Miss Daisy. Lily's dress has captivated many with its stunning design, courtesy of the talented fashion designer Ray Again. Again's incredible journey from Tehran to the sunny shores of California, his successful collaborations with legendary figures like Julie Garland, and his numerous awards, including an Emmy and Academy Award nominations, firmly established him as a pioneering force in the world of fashion and custom design. Today, we have been given an incredible chance by the Vulcan Park and Museum to examine this extraordinary dress up close. The gown was a true masterpiece, carefully crafted with an unwavering dedication to perfection. Ray again meticulously sewed every stitch, bringing the dress to life. The sparkling beads, carefully placed, emitted a mesmerizing glow. Each tiny gem seemed to hold a fascinating store, showcasing the artistry and craftsmanship of a distant time. This dignified and refined dress spoke volumes about the woman who wore it. It radiated confidence and sophistication, a true reflection of her impeccable taste and keen fashion sense. As she gracefully moved across the red carpet, the gown seemed to possess a spirit of its own, telling a tale of elegance and grace. In this moment, we are transported back in time to an era of grandeur and luxury. The gown becomes a living testament 
to a time when attention to detail and impeccable style were held in the highest regard. As we admire this extraordinary creation, we cannot help but be fascinated by the allure of history. The gown brings to life the elegance of a bygone era, showcasing the enduring legacy of human creativity and the timeless power of fashion. And so, this dress finds its permanent home at the Vulcan Park and Museum, a place devoted to safeguarding the legacy of this extraordinary fashion moment. It becomes a symbol of Lily Gentle's enduring influence and a testament to the lively history of Birmingham, Alabama involving in the world of entertainment. Liddy's Gentle's journey in Hollywood may have been quiet and under the radar, but her contributions to the film industry cannot be overlooked. The dress serves as a tribute to Lily Gentle, ensuring that her tale and the importance of her dress are internally engraved in the minds of generations to come. So there you have it, guys. Lily Gentle's mesmerizing dress stole the show at the premiere of The Sound of Music. It's proved that fashion has the power to transcend boundaries and captivate our hearts, even amidst the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. So remember, dare to be different, embrace your own unique style, and let your fashion choices tell you your story. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring stories about extraordinary people. Until next time, I'm your host William. Thank you for joining us today, and I can't wait to see you next time when we explore moments that made history.